We are learning new details tonight behind a fight at the Behavioral Health Center in Norfolk that injured several staff members a few months back. I'm Tom Shaft. And I'm Anita Bland. And a state investigation into the incident revealed regulations involving patient supervision were not followed. Ten on your side, Gina Revelo joins us now with an update. And Gina, what else did the report say? Well, Tom and Anita, that report listed four areas of concern. All of them were related to patient supervision. I spoke with a former staff member who tells me they're not surprised by the findings. Improper supervision and not adhering to policy. Those are some of the findings of an investigation into a fight at Kempsville Behavioral Health Center in Norfolk. Back in April, 10 on your side told you how patients collaborated to carry out a disturbance at the facility. The incident left staff members injured and police were called to the health center. I have a report of a few people attacking staff at the location, screaming a certain background and cursing. According to the report by the State Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services, the patient who started the fight was supposed to be within arm's length of a designated staff member at all times. Video evidence and the center's documentation showed that didn't happen. The report also found patient observation policies were not adhered to as written. We would bring issues like this to management and to HR and they would say, oh, we'll handle it. This former staff member was employed at the health center when the assault happened but wasn't at work on that day. Still, they say that incident paired with continued concerns over alleged staff shortages was the final straw, so they left. I really felt like my safety was at jeopardy. In a statement, the center says it's working with the state to fix the findings and appropriate training was completed. However, the staff member says the training was minimal. We were given a piece of paper to um, skim through and sign, and that took about two minutes. The paper talked about rounds, like completing rounds every 15 minutes. Um, it talked about being on time policy. The health center CEO says the center is currently in compliance. According to the state's report, training for some of those policies is done annually. The health center CEO says the Kempsville Center remains committed to their mission of providing high quality, safe care to their patients. In the newsroom, Gina Arevalo, on your side.